Should the police force be cut in number? Yeah, you know, that's, um, you know, these questions that you're asking me and, and trying to put a bill, um, we really can't, uh, you know, I have experience, I was the assistant public safety director in Hudson County, but we really can't answer that question because we, you know, we don't know. I mean, we don't, uh, you know, we would have to uh, look at every uh, department and see um, uh, exactly the, uh, you know, the distribution of manpower. Um, and we have a, we have a, 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 the leaders in the uh, uh, police department, the police director, I think he's, you know, doing a great job. And, and I think that um, whoever's elected me or John Boyfield, we would have to sit down and we would have to uh, talk to the department heads and, and uh, you know, not just uh, say we're going to do this because, you know, we don't know. What do you think, John? No, um, we don't have, like, like Todd said, we don't have the information, but we need to trust uh, our, our professionals uh, to make that decision and, uh, um, you know, before we can properly answer that, you know, obviously we, we wouldn't be able to say yes unless we had information to do that. Borough council meetings over the last several, I guess, year and a half have at times gotten fairly heated. Um, how important is it to you to change that? Are you comfortable with that or would you want to see it differently? You, you know, this administration, the, uh, the council and the mayor, um, the governor body, they're working very hard. Um, you know, when they took office, um, the debt was uh, 18 point something million dollars. Uh, we're down to 16.4. You know, it's a lot of, they have their meetings to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, Mostly, you know, all the council people they have full time full time jobs, and um, would I would I like to see them get along better? Yes, uh, you know, but I, um, you know, it's it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work. How about you, John? What do you think? Uh, well, I don't think having a long meeting is necessarily a bad thing if you're having a, you know, a, a healthy dialogue. Um, you know, that comes with with, with governing. Um, you know, everyone's going to have different ideas, uh, whether it be the same party, a different party. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter. Every, anyone, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and uh, I think as long as, uh, as you know, if we're up there and we feel like it's a productive conversation, then you know, no matter how long it lasts, uh, you know, productivity speaks for itself. Thanks for good stories. <laughs> you know, I'd rather see, I'd rather see them go down to Trenton and fight for the up for to bring money back here. That's what. That's what they, you know, that's what I like to say. So Ridge Road is a problem. We got a few other bumpy roads in Rutherford. What is, um, what's your plan for dealing with, with the road situation? The, road, the roads have to be fixed. There's no question about it. And, uh, that's, I think John feels the same way. And everybody in this room feels the same way. Uh, so we have to uh, uh, fix the roads and they will be fixed. If I'm, you know, if I'm a councilman, um, that would be one of my first priorities. Would you be willing, if, this would go for both of you, I think, would you be willing to borrow money to fix roads? I would, um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't believe in bonding. I really don't. I mean, I, I, I don't believe in tax abatements. Um, I'm a conservative. Um, but I think that um, these roads have to be fixed, and I would have to look at uh, every avenue uh, for trying to get money, maybe uh, a grant or, or uh, uh, some state aid to fix these roads, um, do something with a, a, another uh, municipality, a few of them, to get a cheaper rate. Um, these are things that we, that we have to do. What about you, John? Would you support borrowing to fix the roads? I, I think that you know, there, there's definitely a need to repair uh, some of the key roads in Lutherford, and without properly repairing them uh, as you go along, you're, you're just going to get into a worse situation. And then I think uh, the, the more they're ignored, then, then yes, you know, it almost becomes a must to have to go and, and bond for items like that. So I think as we go along, we need to you know, be proactive and see if there's any funds, like the town and said, in the state, or whether it be the county levels, anywhere where you know, we can get some grant funding to improve our roads. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, the roads do need to be improved. So um, you know, we have to do what we think. All right.
Well, give us the top two issues that, that are on your mind as you, as you go forward. Taxes and the budget and our, and our debt. That's the, that's the top two. Ta taxes, of course. I mean, like, like we said earlier, uh, you know, in order for we only have a, a finite amount of space, and, and we need to utilize all our resources and make sure that our our taxes are, are always manageable uh, year in and year out. And and also is, is the leadership role. You know, um, uh, if I may steal uh, uh, a line, I might be quoting or, or paraphrasing, but I remember a councilwoman in Guanzi saying one night that. Uh, the elected officials are only as good as their professionals, and, and without uh, a borough administrator at the top of the hill uh, advising us on a day-to-day -day basis, um, you know, we're, like, like she said, we're only as good as our professionals, so we really need uh, to, to get the most qualified individual we possibly can, whether that be on a part-time basis, whether that be on a full-time basis, whatever it may be, we need to get somebody in there because that is an essential role to governing. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, and as an elected official, I I don't even know how um, they can be comfortable without having one. Uh, but you know that is definitely uh, uh, maybe even priority number one, uh, especially given the time. If, if you know when when uh, New York Times is going to take office, you know that that is something that we are going to have to act on almost immediately and make sure that the most qualified person uh, is hired.